Hi everyone, welcome back to Job One for All, and welcome to the last video about concurrency and completable feature. In this video, we are going to talk about all off and any off, two methods that we have available in the completable feature class. So before we start, let's change our delay a little bit. Why is that? Because in real life, definitely you are never going to get the exact same time for each one of the requests you make. So we can make it a little bit more real through thread local random. Then we can say 200 from 200 milliseconds to 2500. So basically, anywhere from 200 milliseconds to 2.5 seconds. And here we pass milli. Okay, so that we have done, let's go to completable future test 04. Control C, Control V here, and then let's do some changes. So first, we are not going to use the method here, and we are going to focus on this one. So why and when should we use all of? Imagine that you are uh, doing some completable future tasks like uh, we are doing here, and you would like to know when all of them are completed or in case that any of them completed with exceptions. So all of is very useful because it does exactly that. You pass a list uh, of completable futures and then it will generate a new completable future that it will be considered done when all of the completable futures you pass here are done. So there is a couple tricks that you have to do here. First, as you can see, this accepts a var args. It means that we cannot pass the completable features like a list. We could use the two array, but I think it's better to change uh, directly here in the code. So two things I'm going to do here is remove the variable reference. And here I'm going to add another map. Why? Because I would like after I get the price, I create a new quote, I get the discount. I would like to print so cf and then uh, we have this method from completable feature that is called then accept basically you are just going to pass uh, an action uh, what is this action i would like to print so i will get the store that we have available here from the completable future and then uh, south uh, print f the store name, I would like to know uh, how long each one of the stores took to finish. So we have here the store name and then finished in, then percent uh, D, and let's jump one line as well. Here we are going to get the store, comma store, and then comma the time in minutes now, system. Current time it is and comma. Uh, let's just jump one line maybe here. Not comma. Here is minus the start. And here. So we have this line that will basically be executed every time we finish getting the discount. And after that, I need an array. So two array, and then I need an array of computable future. So computable future, new. Cool. We can use here var because it's never going to change. So we have uh, an array of computable feature. This is uh, IntelliJ feature displaying. So just to kind of give you a hint of what is the type of this variable. Okay, now that we have this array of completable features, I will tell here to all of to get all of them. In this case, we will have four because we have four stores. And this, if I just execute, nothing's going to change because remember we have to actually use get or join. So void completable feature dot join. And then I'm going to uh, ask here, finished. And I will ask percent B for Boolean. And then I'm going to ask the void completable feature if 
it is done or you could check if it is cancelled or is done or completed exceptionally I just want to know if it is done and jump online as well here percent any n cool so let's see control shift f10 So as you can see, one second, uh, two seconds, uh, three seconds, 3.8 seconds. And we have here the total time. Uh, basically, it took the highest time. And as you can see, each one of them took more than uh, we actually executed here. Because we also have the prices being used, the discount. So we have the discount and then we have the get price. So this is useful uh, because sometimes you are executing so many tasks and you need to know that all of them are finished uh, successfully to continue. Sometimes you would like to join with, uh, if you're doing calculation, you would like to wait for the results to then continue doing more calculation. And uh, any off, it's similar, but the difference is any off is useful when you only care about one result. So, if we trigger four requests, as long as one of them is finished, the entire completable feature is considered done. So, if we execute now, as we can see, we got the response for star four, and uh, we are completely ignoring everything else. So, there are some cases that this may be useful. Uh, for example, let's say that we would like to get the dollar quotation of the day. Uh, and uh, you trigger requests to three, four different services, assuming that the they will have all the, the values exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you get the four responses or one response. What matters is that you get the value. So whoever answers the, the fastest, you are going to use that version. So basically, that's how the any of is useful. With this, we completely finished the concurrency package. And now we are going to continue with different topics in the next video. So, see you there. Bye.